What's up guys, your friendly programmer here back with another video. Today we're going to be implementing animations for our player. Um, after this video you're going to finally see your player walking and doing the jump animation. So this will hopefully add some flavor to our game and this is going to be the groundwork for the rest of the animations that we end up doing for our blocks and our enemies and and um, any other animations that we end up doing. So let's get right into it. So let's start by opening up the source um, the source folder and let's go to um, com.game.graphics and let's go ahead and create a new class. So let's name this animation ID. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and change this from class to an enum and let's do player walk L and player walk S. So this is just going to be a enum that represents the type of I the type of animation that we're doing. And so we're gonna have a player walk for our large and a player walk for our small because the animations will require different sprites. So let's go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and create a class called animation in this same package. So let's do new class and let's go ahead and type in animation and let's finish. And this is going to be the class that holds the logic for doing our animations. So we're gonna be using this class a lot. And in here, let's go ahead and create a couple instance variables. So let's do private int speed, private int frames. Let's do private int index, and let's set that to zero. Let's do private int count, and set that to zero. And then let's create a private buffered image of images and a private buffered image current image. And let's go ahead and import the buffered image. Okay. And I'm going to explain these once we implement the methods for this class. I think it'll be a lot easier to, to explain it then. So let's go ahead and create a constructor for a class. So let's do public animation and let's do int speed buffered image dot 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 args and in here let's do this dot speed is equal to speed and images equals new buffered image and let's do brackets and let's do args dot length and let's go ahead and do a for loop and let's do int i is equal to zero i is less than args dot length i plus plus and let's go ahead and do images i is equal to um, args i and let's go ahead and clean up this typo right here and let's do frames is equal to args.length so all we're doing here is we're just creating a constructor for animation class we're setting the speed that we pass in through our constructor to our instance variable speed. We're taking in um, 
a number of buffered images anywhere from uh, one to a large number and that's going to so we're going to take in our args and we're going to get the length of it and we're going to initialize our images buffered image array with that and then we're going to just pass in um, or we're going to set our images array to whatever args that we pass in here and then here we're just setting the frames private variable to the length of the args so the number of args that you pass in here um, and I'll, so this is just setting all of our variables to whatever we pass in and initializing things um, and for what these variables actually do we're gonna or I'm gonna explain that once we start implementing the functions down here so let's go ahead and do public void run animation And let's do index plus plus if index is greater than speed. And we're going to do index, set that to zero, and then do next frame. And we're going to implement this next frame method next. So what this does is it allows us to um, set a, a speed for how quick we run through our animations. So this index, you could think of it as just a counter. And this speed is what it sounds like. It's going to be a variable that represents how fast um, or the speed of our animation. And so we call run animations from, say, the player. And it updates this index to 1 and say speed is set to 5 so then it's not greater than so just skip through it and then I'll just keep running through this so then the next time the player might call run animation again index gets incremented to 2 and it's still not greater than speed so it just skips over and so you can see the, the bigger the value of speed is the longer it takes for us to finally get into here and call this next frame function and this next frame function is going to um, basically move our animation to the next frame so a bigger speed means a slower animation um, and if you want the animation to be very quick then you can just set the speed to a very small value and so that's how the speed is being used that we pass in here and that's how this index is being used for this counter so now let's go ahead and implement our next frame function. Let's move some spaces down here so you can see what's going on. So let's do private void next frame. And in here, let's go ahead and do current img image and set that equal to images and count. And let's do count plus plus. And then let's do if count is greater than or equal to frames, then let's do count is set to zero. So now let's go ahead and explain this thing. So this next frame is being called in this run animation. And what this does is it looks at our images array. And so let me explain what that images array is now. So the images array is going to be a, a array of images that represent our animation. So say, let's just use this. So say our animation just flips between these two images. Well then images is going to be an array that holds both of these images. And so it's basically just holding all of the images for animation. And um, the way we set this images is through this constructor. So we have this, these args, a number of buffered images, and that basically sets our images array here. So that's where these image, 
images come from. And this count is going to be an index into our images array. Um, so it's just a, it's another counter. And when count is equal to zero, then it's going to pull the first image. When count is equal to two, then it'll pull the next image. And so it's, it's just an index into our images of our animation. And we're going to go ahead and set our current image, which will represent whatever our the, the current image for our, for example, player will currently be. So when you see the player, it's only going to show one image at a time. And so whatever image that's being showed at that at whatever the current time is, is going to be represented by this current image. And then you're going to have an increment count. So first count is going to be zero. And we're going to set the first the current image to the first image. And then we're going to increment count. So now count's going to be one. And then the next time through, it's going to get the next image. So counts is going to be one, so it'll be images one. And it'll just continue to flip through each frame or get the next frame. Now this if check down here is making sure that we don't go over. So once we reach all the images in our animation, then we're going to and this, that's what this does. So remember, I count for whatever image we're currently on. If it's greater than or equal to frames, and frames is going to be a count of all of the images in our anim animation, right? We set it here to whatever the length of args, which is these images that we pass in here, to. So if we reach the, the end of our list of images for animation, then we're going to go ahead and set count back to zero. So now we reset back to zero and we're back at the first image. And so this just keeps flipping through all of our frames. So that's what that does. And now let's go ahead and create another function down here and call it pub and do public void draw animation. And in here, let's pass in graphics, g, int, x, int, y, int, scale, x, int, scale, y. And let's go ahead and import graphics. And in here, let's do g dot draw image. And in here, let's do current. Oh, and let's, let's get rid of all of these extra things here. So let's do current image and then let's do x, y, scale x, scale y, and null. And so this is basically going to be um, so when we call this draw animation function we're just going to call this draw image, which is going to draw the image to the screen um, for whatever our current image is. And so that's what that does. And that's actually all we need for our animation class. So let's go ahead and delete these extra spaces. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and implement this or or go ahead and call this in our player class now. Um, but actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and first create one more class, which will actually be an enum again. And let's go ahead and name this player state. And in here, let's go ahead and change this to enum. And let's do small and large. 